Hello, Campbell High School. Hi. How are you all? We're good. Hey, How good. are you? So good. And we are so excited to connect with you today. My name is Jen Hobby with Star 94. And in the square right next to me is producer Alyssa. Hi. 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 And in the square right below Melissa or Alyssa is Marnie. And she is with <laughs> Delta Community Credit Union. Awesome. Nice Thank you. You. So thanks Hello. for joining us. We just have a couple more questions about your community service project, and we want to learn a little bit more about you. Um, so first of all, um, will someone start and then just maybe go around the group and introduce us and tell us your name and how you are involved in the water project? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, I can go ahead and start. My name is Mara. Um, I'm a senior in high school and I'm the president of the Water Project. I've been an active member since my sophomore year of high school, and this is my second year as president. Wonderful. I'm Elizabeth. This is um, also my um, second year being an officer. This year, I'm the vice president of the Water Project, and last year I was the secretary slash treasurer. And yeah, like Mara, I started getting involved in this club sophomore year. I'm Christina. I'm also a senior. Um, I'm the social media manager for the Water Project, and I've been part of the club for two years. Um, I'm JP. I'm the treasurer for Water Project, and I've also been part of the club for two years. I'm Remy. I'm the secretary of the Water Project, and I've been in the club since my sophomore year. I'm a senior now, and I was the social um, media manager last year. Wonderful. And I'm Mr. Went. I'm one of the sponsors, along with Ms. Meffin here. And this is our ninth year that we've sponsored the club. So we're very excited. Wonderful. Oh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we're so excited to meet you all. And I just have to quick say a quick hi to Ms. Methvin, who is very close with my husband, Grant, and worked with him when he was a principal back in the day at Campbell High School. So when I met my husband, he was actually principal at your school. How yeah. cool is that? Yeah. Isn't that a small world, right? <laughs> well, uh, Miss Methvin, great to see you again. You and I'm just so inspired by the work that you all are doing. All of us were. So as we were reviewing your application, your entry of the Water Project, we just were really touched by your passion for serving people you may never meet. Really, that stood out to us. So um, which one of you would like to maybe just raise your hand if you'd like to answer the question? Um, which one of you wants to start by explaining to us what is the Water Project and how did you all first get involved? Um, I can go ahead and answer that. Okay. Um, so the Water Project is a nonprofit organization um, that builds wells for people in underprivileged communities in Africa. And the thing that's so special about the Water Project, at least to me, in my opinion, is that we're able to really see the progress that we make for these communities. So every year throughout the year, you know, we fundraise at the end of the year, we give them our donations. And then the following year, um, like in August around that time, we get back pictures from the well after it's constructed and we're able to see pictures of the village and the community that we helped. Um, we're able to see them um, partaking in like the well, we're able to see the well being built and we're able to see basically the, um, the fruits of our labor kind of, um, as Christina would put it. Um, <laughs> and it's just really special to me because although a lot of the community, community service um, opportunities at Campbell, um, although they're revolved around our community and bettering our community, um, ours is kind of bettering some, like you said, people will never meet while still bringing our community together. Um, we're united by a common goal of helping these people um, who lack something essential that most of us don't even think twice about. That's incredible. And tell us, somebody else maybe answer this one. Tell us about the need for clean water and what you've learned about maybe some of the conditions in Africa. Yeah, I can answer that. So when I first joined the Water Project, um, I didn't really know what it was about, but I slowly started to realize how big of an impact having clean water can have on someone's lives. Like living here in the United States, we have complete access to clean water. We don't have to worry about catching waterborne diseases or anything like that. But um, in other countries, so many waterborne diseases have such a horrible impact on people's lives that um, it affects their lifespan and things like that, their ability to provide for themselves and their children. And in addition to this, um, girls especially have to make long walks to the village wells um, can, that can be miles and miles away. And um, they aren't able to go to school because of this. So not only are we providing um, health through the water we are providing, but also we're um, 
helping those kids have access to education where they might have been spending the rest of their days, you know, carrying water or having to help out with daily tasks. So in the water project, we build these wells that are really um, central to the villages. So girls can just go over there, grab some clean, fresh water that is not full of waterborne diseases, and they can go to school better themselves and educate and develop themselves in their communities. That's amazing. It's hard to believe that that even exists in the world today in 2023. Mm -hmm. Um, But the fact that you all have risen to the occasion to meet that need is just Wonderful. It's just incredible. And I know it makes you feel so good. So let me hand it over to some of my colleagues. By the way, Sky has just joined us. Uh, Sky (laughs) is on the air at Star 94. And she was so impressed with your water project as well. Um, And so she's going to join us for some questions. But first, I'll toss it over to Marnie. Do you have any questions about the water project and what they've been working on? Yeah. First off, shout out to the social media managers because I'm the social media manager at Delta Community. So that's really awesome. Uh, Feel free to reach out. Um, But I love that it's an international project. Um, That's really kind of what hit me uh, most about what you guys are doing. Um, So my question, two-parter, one, when you guys are building these wells, is there like a placard or anything over there that says, you know, this this was helped by Campbell High School? And secondly, because this is, I believe you had mentioned the ninth year, is this an initiative that's going to keep going year after year after year? I can speak to that. Um, this is our ninth year uh, of, of sponsoring the project here at Campbell High School. So there are nine projects throughout the continent of Africa that we have helped have a hand in and raising money for uh, that individual community. Uh, each well is funded by many organizations um, that put the pool their money together for that particular well. On the well itself, I don't think there's a placard, but I do think, I do know, on each website for each well, there is a list of all the donations. Uh, so it'll have, you know, Campbell High School for each well that we've had a hand in. And what's really exciting about this organization is they keep you informed long after you've you know you've donated your money and the well's been built. They'll constantly bring back updates from wells three four years ago that are stir, still in you know service, and, and so forth. So the websites themselves have a list of all the donors, and they're they're very active in keeping us update from year to year on each well. So it's not a one and done kind of thing project. It's ongoing, and and of course as long as um, Ms. Meffin and I are here at, at Campbell and sponsor the program. We'll continue to do this year after year. As I said, That's this awesome. is our ninth year. That's awesome. wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Went. Um, Alyssa, do you have any questions for them? I'm going to switch. Yeah, absolutely. Talks. I mean, how do you feel just having this international connection has shaped your mentality of the world? I mean, a lot of times we just know that we think the world is so big, but once we start making those connections, it feels like there's somebody right next to us. So how do you feel it's shaped your thought process? I can answer this one. I feel that when I first came to Campbell, I was really looking for just larger than myself, larger than my local community to engage in. So it's really widened my perspective to just global issues in general and participating in just multimedia platforms and seeing what's occurring in different places in the world and especially global health in general. After the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw a lot of regulations put in place and different measures to take. So it's just been really engaging to get to find out more information about those sort of health concerns as well. Absolutely. And Sky, what about you? You want to jump in with a question for Campbell High School? Absolutely. My uh, hat's off to you guys for even thinking about people not right next to you, but people on a whole nother continent. Um, So I want to know any plans for any of you or the instructors maybe to possibly go to the continent of Africa, <laughs> perhaps? I mean, to really put your hands and get in there. I think that takes that to the next level. That would be an incredible dream. But right now, our focus is fundraising for the wells at our school. But if opportunities opened up like that, I would absolutely love to go. And I think I'm speaking for everyone here that that would be amazing. I will say this. It wasn't too long ago. uh, One of the students here at Campbell High School's moms approached us and said that they had actually had known about the water project in the community. I think it was Kenya, uh, the country of Kenya. And of course, her daughter now comes to Campbell High School. So 
there's been that wow. connection from an actual, I guess you could say, resident who's experienced the water project from the other end, who's now uh, now part of us here at Campbell. So that was kind of a unique situation. Oh, yes. wow. So that's really cool. So it's like you got an actual chance to see someone who reaped the benefits of what you guys were doing. That's amazing. I yeah. love it. I love that. And how about some of the fundraising? Can another student in the group who hasn't spoken yet maybe um, tell us what were some of the things you did to raise the money? So um, I feel like at Campbell High School, the Water Project is really unique because we like to really brainstorm in our fundraising techniques. And so one thing that we do is Madame Methvin, she spends a lot of time making these handcrafted bracelets um, with like artisanal beads and some of them have messages. Uh, we'll do like holiday fundraisers where we'll have Christmas bracelets or we just did like fall bracelets, Halloween bracelets. Met Gala bracelets. Met Gala bracelets. <laughs> That's on the list. Um, and so I feel like these really like unique fundraising ideas grab the attention of the kids at our school. And even if they don't buy the bracelets, they still see us in the cafeteria selling them and it's kind of just like implanted into their mind. And then another thing that we do is we like to show up to all of our home football games. Um, and I think we're planning to do basketball games too, now that the football season is over. Um, but we like to stand at the gates with our posters and our buckets. And it's a great way to really get to everybody and make sure that everyone has the opportunity to donate. And then I'd also like to say that within the Water Project Club community, um, we all really just enjoy going to the fundraisers and all of us know each other pretty well. And it's genuinely fun to go and be able to hang out with your friends while doing, while participating in a service opportunity. Right. Giving back and making friendships all at the same time. I exactly. love that. That's really close. And it brings you together with different people at school that maybe you're not in class with, or maybe that you haven't hung out with before. It's a way to come together and meet new people. Um, maybe that think differently from you or don't live in your exact neighborhood or take your same classes. So I love that, that it's a way to bring everybody together. Well, you all have just been so impressive. Any other questions from our panel here? <laughs> Anybody else yeah. got any, any questions? I yeah, do. Marnie, go ahead. Um, so how much are you fundraising per well? So um, we've actually, all of us here, I think we've all helped grow this club a little bit to um, a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot actually, <laughs> to meet those um, fundraising goals. So last year, I think we raised about $4,000, and that's our repeated goal this year. I think yes. we're about halfway towards meeting that goal, so and we're we pretty much right on track. Goal last yes, last year, year our yeah. goal was 3500 and we made it to $4,000. Um, so one thing about our club is that it used to be really small last year. Yeah. I'm going to be quite yeah. honest. These past couple of years, it was pretty small, um, probably about 10 to 15 people at each meeting. But this year at our first meeting, we had like the classroom was over like flowing. There was no more Mercy. like space for anyone to sit. And so I really have high hopes for our goal for this year. I think that we can even surpass 4,000 just because of the amount of support that the um, amount of increased support that we've had this year. Yeah. And it's amazing. We went to like, as Mara said, like having 10 to 15 people at a meeting to having this amazing, huge club that people are so interested in becoming a part of. Like we've had to like, you know, even with allocating our football team games, we haven't had enough spots for everyone who wants to volunteer, yeah. which is amazing because we've like struggled to grab enough volunteers um, mm -hmm. like two years yeah. ago. <laughs> Definitely. You all have made it cool to give back, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're making it popular to be a part of the water project. That's so cool. Yes, exactly. I love that so much. That's incredible. And those are really significant numbers, aren't they, Marnie? Yeah, absolutely. Really, really awesome numbers. Well, we just wanted to find out a little bit more about your project and commend you for all that you're doing. And I am quite honored to be able to tell you that for 2023, you are a top five finalist winning school. So that means we can up that total by another thousand dollars from Delta oh Community God. Credit Union and Star 94. Oh my Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. We are so excited for you all and just really pumped that we can just show you how amazing this is out of all the schools across Metro Atlanta that entered this competition. You are a top five school. 
So keep up the great work and keep making it cool to give back. Um, we're just so proud of you all and want to encourage you to keep going because this will follow you throughout your life. This will go beyond Campbell High School halls, right? This will this will take you and and that service mindset really is is a lifestyle and and it's and it's going to be a part of your life forever. So we we just want to encourage you and say congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Wonderful. Great job everyone. Thank you.